Hi Year 12s, I'm going to go through some of the questions from the um, textbook uh, that were included in Friday's lesson on tangents and normals. So the questions prior to this would just follow the recipe, okay, to find a tangent or to find a normal. And all of these are problem solving ones, and so they're obviously trickier. Okay, right, so we read very carefully. Uh, the normal to the curve, okay, so remember that's perpendicular, so we know the gradient is like minus 1 over m, to the curve y is 2x cubed minus 4x at the point where x is 2, so the normal at that point crosses the x-axis at p, okay, find the coordinates of p. So I'm going to do like some rough sketch to get some ideas. So I know I've got a cubic, it's an uphill cubic, I don't really know where the 2 is going to go, um, so I'm just trying to think, um, if I put 2 in there, I'm going to get 16, take away 8, so it's going to be a 8, uh, 2 8. Okay. Um, and the normal to that curve, so let's just suppose it's uh, over here somewhere. Okay, so the normal is going to cross the x-axis, so let's have an x-axis somewhere, at P. So this, this graph is a load of rubbish, but it just kind of vaguely gives me some kind of idea of what's going on. Um, find the coordinates of P. Okay. So that means that we need to know what is the equation of the normal so that we can find out where it crosses the x-axis. Okay. So essentially this question is, find the equation of the normal where x is 2. Okay. So we need a point. So x is 2, y is 2 times 2 cubed minus 4 times 2, which I've always already worked out, is 8. Okay, so that's 2, 8. Right, and we need a gradient. And to find a gradient of curve, we differentiate. So we do dy by dx. So that is going to be 6x squared minus 4. And we want the gradient at the point where x is 2. So this is 2, 8, isn't it? So the gradient at that point, x equals 2, okay, so that is going to equal 6 times 2 squared minus 4, which what's that, 20, so that's going to be 20, that's a big gradient, okay. Now that's the gradient of the tangent, okay, so that means gradient of the normal is going to be minus 1 over 20. Okay, so now we use y minus y1 equals um, x minus x1 to get our equation of our straight line, equation of our normal. Okay, so we've got y minus 8 is equal to minus a 20th x minus 2. Now we don't need it in a format because what we actually want to find out is the coordinates of p. Okay, so um, the point P is on the x-axis, so we know that y is 0. Okay, we don't know the x number, but we know the y number. So we can put 0 minus 8 is minus 1 20th of x minus 2, and we can solve that equation. So let's multiply both sides by negative 20. So we get 160 is x minus 2. So that means x is going to be, wow, 162. So the point P is 162, 0. I hope I've got that right. 